Hello everyone, my name is Esteban Toro. I'm a travel photographer and Sony ambassador. And today here we are with b and I'm gonna show you five tips how to make better travel portraits. Tip number one is go local. Try to understand the places where locals go. Try to understand why they choose this place. What's the best time and the best light available to go. And then just try to spend some time there. Then just capture it with your unique point of view. Tip number two will be find iconic and distinguished locations. Let me put you an example. I was photographing in the Taj Mahal and I, I was looking to capture it in the traditional point of view that is with the pools in the front. But then I just decided to walk around and I found this beautiful river where I could see the reflection of the Taj in the water. It allowed me to show the classical landmark, but then I was able to capture it from my own perspective. So even though that I just told you not to go to the touristic places, then just try to find a new angle for those places and try to show with your own unique perspective. Tip number three, choose one spot and stay there and wait for something to happen. Many times we find a beautiful location, but there is nothing happening there. So we just take the picture and that's all. But usually what I like to do, and it has happened to me many times, I just stay in one place. I wait for a long time and then you will see how a bicycle will come. Someone will come walking and it will be a really nice composition. So just wait, be patient, and then you will find something beautiful happening in front of your camera with a beautiful background. Tip number four is everything that is in the frame matters. When you have your camera, you have to check all the four corners of your composition to understand exactly what is in there. That will help you not to forget details that many times we tend to forget because we're focused only in the person we're photographing. I know it has happened to me that I have been photographing someone who is really beautiful, but then I forget that it's so, there is someone looking in the background or there is a color that is kind of bothering in the composition. So don't forget to always check before you press the shutter. Tip number five, be kind and be human. Don't forget that you're photographing human beings. Let them know what you like about them. Is their hair, is their eyes, something special. Tell them something that you like them. Everyone loves to be complimented. So don't forget to tell them why you find them special and then what's the reason why you want to photograph them. That will help them to understand why you want to take their picture and that will help you to communicate with them and to get better results and having more yes than no when you're asking people. I know many times I have been rejected when I want to photograph someone. So it's normal and accept that if someone says like, no, I don't want my picture taken, just take your camera and load down, say thank you very much and keep going and then find another person. There are plenty of beautiful faces to photograph in this, in this world.